Hi, this is Kevin Dio from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about the Poke Legend L800, and I can't wait to tell you about that, but I got to tell you about my morning because I got in a little bit of a tiff with my loving wife, Miss Laura. I had to go move her car, and when I was in there, it was kind of turned up, and I looked at the screen. What the heck is she listening to? And it was a song called Stupid by a guy named Takashi 6x9. And if you've not heard of Takashi 6x9, it's this guy. So, what I said to her, I go, Laura, what is this? She goes, it's not Takashi. I go, 6x9, that's a car stereo speaker, right? She goes, it's not 6x9, it's Takashi 69, and it's mumble rap. I go, mumble rap, and the song is called Stupid. I go, Laura, Laura I married you because you know the lyrics to, like, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, teach your children well. Not mumble rap in a song called Stupid. And what's this thing with calling it 69? I mean, Jesus, it's like, huh, yeah, man, uh, 69, I get it. You know, so I walked out and I was going to go maybe yell at some kids to get off the lawn. And a couple minutes later, she shows up with this picture in her hand. And there it is, me at the age of 18. So the, le the lesson today is, I cannot compare myself at the age of 62 to this guy who is probably 20 years old, right? That's the deal. And the fact is, I've listened to that song now and it is kind of fun. So don't diss any kind of music. You never know what you'll end up liking, right? So what are we talking about now? This is the Polk Audio Legend L800. I used to hate Polk Audio back in the 1980s. Do you know why? Because I didn't have it to sell. Polk Audio only sold to uh, small stores, independent stores. And if you worked for a company that had more than one location, they just would not sell to you. They supported the independents. And uh, it was very, very difficult. If somebody had gone to one of those stores and heard Polk speakers, it was hard to sell against him because Matthew Polk was a genius. And Matthew Polk was a guy that gave people a tremendous value for their money. So back then, he came up with an idea to solve a problem. And this speaker solves a number of problems. But the first problem I want to talk about is intraoral crosstalk. And that's a problem that you have when you're listening to stereo, when you have a left speaker and a right speaker, and the right speaker information comes to this ear, but it also comes to that ear, and it causes confusion, it causes a problem with having a sweet spot that's really narrow, it causes a lot of problems, so this is what they did. There's an umbilical cord that goes between the two speakers, and it takes some of the information from the right speaker and mixes it out of phase at a low level to the opposite speaker where the SDA, and, and now they do it differently. SDA speakers used to be a pain in the ass because they were really, really super wide. They came up with a new design and they call it SDA Pro by taking the drivers and mounting them on a V, a V angle. So if this is the right speaker, then the outside speakers are the ones that are gonna get out of phase information from the other speaker. The net effect is, a more realistic soundstage. I mean, unbelievably realistic and, and a very broad sweet spot. And they solve another problem. So many people have rooms where they have to put their speakers too close together or they cannot tow them in. Polk does not suggest that you tow their speakers in. Keep them flat, boom. And if these speakers have to go a little bit closer together, it's not a problem. I just sold a pair of speakers that were $65,000 to a guy. And I, I hope he doesn't see this video because I was mortified. He sent me a picture. I said, how's it sounding? He goes, oh, I love it. I love it. He goes, let me send you a picture. And I did not realize these speakers were huge. He put them in an itty bitty room and they were way too close together. This speaker, if they end up being a little close together, they can still sound amazing. They're not that critical. In fact, I've also had them put into a room where they were quite a ways apart. The speaker seems to work well in the crappiest, crappiest rooms. I mean, they're unbelievable. So how did they do that? Well, first of all, they give you a lot of value for the money, and that is an absolute fact. 
So many people come to me today, so many people with speakers that they bought 15 years ago and they go, I'm sick of them, they look like hell, I wanna get new speakers. I said, what did you pay for them back 15 years ago? $5,000. Okay, how much is your budget today? Oh, maybe $8,000. And I tell them, don't bother. Your $5,000 speakers from 15 years ago are be over $15,000 today. But this is a great answer for those people because they're only $6,000 a pair and you get so much for the money. And I'm not bullshitting you when I say that. You know I believe in parts and engineering. I believe in parts and engineering. These speakers weigh 118 pounds each. And it's a badass cabinet with real walnut veneer. Look at this. Or you can get them in black ash. I mean, this is a real cabinet. Now on the back, you're gonna see the plug for the SDA cable because there's a cable that runs between the two speakers to feed the information. What are these jacks for? There's an optional height ma uh, module that you can add for Dolby Atmos and DTS. So for $600, you've got a speaker panel that plugs right in here with an additional mid-range and another tweeter. But let's talk about parts. These are ring radiator tweeters, and they are really, really badass. This little point in the front is to help uh, with dispersion. Again, you're reducing that sweet spot and the directionality of high frequencies. That's really, really important. And it's a one-inch dome, and it's wonderful because it has amazing air, but it has absolutely no sibilance and no bitingness. It's Amazing. The mid-range drivers are five and a quarter inch drivers. They call it a turbine cone. What does that mean? They put these ridges into the cone to help increase stiffness so it will not break up, especially at high volumes. But it doesn't add any more mass, and you can feel that. I mean, when I tap it, it's a real quality product. Two 10-inch drivers, and this is going to be something i got to stress here. This is a speaker that has real bottom end. I'm telling you, man, I'm uh, so burned out by speakers that just don't have bass like the old days. It seems like everybody now, they're drinking lattes and sticking their finger out. Ooh, ooh, the bass is tight. I go, the, well, the of course the bass is tight because it doesn't have any feeling to it. This speaker has bass that's tight and it's got balls to it. And I'm telling you, it has real balls. And the way that they've done that is careful attention to engineering. Go to their website and see what they talk about when they talk about details. This is the power port down on the bottom. It's ported out of the bottom. So if you need to put this a little bit closer to a wall, don't worry about it. The whole idea of this port was building in a stand here so you don't have to worry about rear ports or front ports and also reducing the effect of chuffing. When you have a tendency to turn it up, you're not gonna hear the base port. So it stays silent. It comes with these really, really cool rubber feet, and then you pull off the rubber feet and you've got spikes. And again, I mean, everything about this speaker is absolutely beefy. Now, it comes with a really cool grill that is a non-diffraction grill. I guess I could walk off screen, but I don't know, hang on. Because I forgot to bring this over. The grill is really cool, it's magnetic and it has a very large opening so it does not cause any diffraction. It doesn't do anything to help, you know, interfere with the performance of the mid-band. So the mid-band is absolutely superb. This goes on just like that. Jesus, I mean, I look at this and I go, God damn, for $6,000, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I've got a new guy that works here and he says, yeah, we're gonna start selling a lot more expensive stuff. I go, that's fine. I mean, I want to sell $100,000 speakers, $200,000 speakers, but you know what? I'm a champion of you guys that are living in reality, right? I mean, I, I got it. I've got customers that are dot-com guys, and I love them because they're wonderful people too. But I think it's time that everyone else gets a break. And this is something that's going to help you with that. It's a speaker that you can buy and be proud of and have a tremendous amount of fun with. So listen, come to our store. You can run, the, by the way, 87 dB efficient, 4 ohm impedance, but I was running them with a 36 watt tube amp, a Prima Luna, and it was just rocking it. So a good 36 watt tube amp or a 50 watt solid state amp, I'm telling you, this is a great speaker. Come to our store, we'll play them for you. None of my employees are on commission because we don't roll like that. 
no pressure, okay? And uh, you can just buy them right off the website or you can give us a call and we'll talk to you about it because I don't care how much money you spend. If you get the wrong stuff, it's not going to be cool for you. I promise you, we'll treat your system like it's ours. Thanks.